Hello everybody, this is another video that uh, where I'm going to show you how to do a gauge RNR using variable data uh, with the Minitab Assistant tool. Um, so we click on Assistant and then we click on Measurement System Analysis and then you get this uh, workflow asking you what you want to do. So first we want to do gauge RNR worksheet. So we click on that and I'm going to use the same example that I was using in my previous video um, where I was using three operators, two replicates and ten parts. So for the operator names I already input um, the names and the part, num the part names I'm just going to keep them the same number, serialized numbers from one to ten. And once you fill out um, this information about your your study model, uh, you can click OK. And then uh, Minitab is going to ask you if you want to print co the collection forms, uh, which I recommend you guys to do because it's a very clean way to collect the data from your study. Well, but the, for the purpose of this example, I'm just going to say no. Um, and then you get this uh, worksheet where Minitab is um, showing you um, the model and then Minitab gives you this other column where you are going to enter your measurements. Uh, for the purpose of this example I have already done that um, so this is my data. Now that I have the data then I click on assistant and then I go to measurement system analysis and I'm going to uh, click on Gauge RNR Study Crossed. Um, that's in the workflow. Uh, why crossed? Because uh, these are non-destructive samples. So we're going to click on um, on crossed. And then for operators, we uh, select operators column for parts, the parts column, and for measurements, the measurements column. Um, and then Minitab is asking you if you want to, um, if you want, how you want to assess the process variation. So in this case, we just want to estimate from the parts in the study. And for uh, process, I mean, specification limits, so we're just going to leave it empty. We're not going to use that option at this point. And then we click OK. So Minitab will analyze your data and then we'll come up with this summary. Um, this summary is very detailed and the summary looks very um, professional. I like it. Uh, so it gives you like, um, it draws, draws conclusions for you. So in this case, uh, it's telling me that, um, that I have a 27% of process variation or system variation and uh, the general rule is that 10% or less variation in the system is acceptable and 10 to 30% is uh, marginal and anything beyond 30% is unacceptable. So in the um, in the medical industry or the automobile industry usually 27.3% uh, of variation as I can see here is not acceptable. Uh, where I work at usually we do not accept anything less, anything uh, greater than 10% of variation but that's that depends on the application. So thank you for watching my video and I hope this was helpful.